Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to consider a problem to work out velocities of objects following an impact. So the problem we have here is we have the butte uh, is speeding down a highway and rear ends a hatchback. Uh, if the butte was traveling at 130 kilometers per hour and the hatchback at 90 kilometers per hour, just before the collision, we're asked to calculate the velocities after impact given E is equal to 0.5, E being the coefficient of restitution, which we discussed in the previous video. So here is a diagram of what's going on. We have a ute, uh, which is going at 130 kilometers per hour. I've converted that into meters per second, just by multiplying by 1,000 and then dividing by 60 twice. And that gives you um, 36.1 meters per second. Uh, its mass is 2,000 kilograms, so two tons. Um, the car weighs a thousand kilograms uh, it's traveling at 90 kilometers per hour and um which is 25 meters per second and what's going to happen is these two are going to come together somewhere around here or something like that they're both going to be speeding in the same direction they're going to hit and then after that they're going to break back apart and we're going to work out the two speeds the speed of both the ute and the car um, just after that collision so just after they uh, break apart from the collision. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to first consider initial momentum. So uh, basically, I'll just give you a heads up of what we're going to be doing in this video. So we'll look at initial momentum, uh, we'll look at final momentum, and that's going to give us one equation with two unknowns, and then we're going to use the coefficient of restitution uh, to give us another equation with another two unknowns, and we're going to solve them simultaneously.